So unlike at the beginning of 2022, when we had so many registered applicants for every house for sale um, and things were going for above the asking price and multiple offers going in left, right and center, across these last few months, uh, we have seen more people getting offers accepted underneath the asking price. It is a bit of a mixed bag. Um, what you got to think about sometimes is if a property has been listed on the market very recently and the agent has said to the seller that this property is worth X, well, if you go and view that house the very next day, the seller is unlikely to take a much reduced offer because it's only been on the market for such a short period of time and they're still wanting the asking price. So when you look on Right Move and Zoopla, you'll be able to see uh, when a property actually was listed first for sale. So you can use this information uh, and position your offer um, accordingly. So the longer something's beyond the market, probably the chances are that you could get it for a little bit less than the advertised price. Now, in terms of your negotiation, you always want your first offer to be rejected. So you're going to make an offer which is not insulting to the seller, um, but low enough that the seller gets the opportunity to reject your offer. And what will normally happen is they'll come back to you asking for an offer closer to the asking price. So we're seeing some people still a bit married to property valuations of 2022, but remember that was a false spike caused by the um, stamp duty holiday at that time. The reality has changed, the market has changed and property values have come down and we're just seeing it for the very first time in a good couple of years, uh, many people able to get a successful negotiation away. If you're the seller in that position and moving up the property ladder, this isn't necessarily a disaster for you either because what you're having to give away in terms of your sale price, you're going to look to claim that back almost on your onward purchase to end up in the same or even sometimes a better position.